Hey everyone, um, we're in probably week five or week six of lockdown. Um, I can't keep track of it, so it's somewhere thereabouts, and we've got the rest of August to go. And I thought that a good little thing to do while in lockdown, if you wanted to have a lockdown party so obviously on these movies in your home or if you're not in lockdown um just a little something to spruce up your table so to make this greenery garland you're going to need a few things you're going to need some snips some you don't have to have these two exact things but like you could have all twine but i've got a big long string of twine say you want to make about a meter or a meter and a half just gives um some tails when constructing it you're going to need some tail to hold and i'll show you that in a second and i'll use some binding wire just wire that's covered with paper uh, and i'm going to use this to basically bind the garland. So I've got some Maria and I've got some, I think, Clementine um, foliage. Is it a little piece of fruit there? I don't know if it's a Clementine or a tangerine, but anyway. And so I'm just going to use two pieces just to show you variation. You can use all the one piece and it will still be beautiful. You can add other um, foliages or flowers and it'll just add some depth, depth and interest. Um, you can also get a piece, uh, a single piece of foliage like the Maria and just flip it around and then you've got, a, got two different colors. So you don't have to just keep repeating the one color. Uh, not all foliage have two colors but there are a lot like this has some dark bits on the inside and then some lighter bits but you also can just pick two um like one dark and one light foliage and just work like that it's totally up to you the options are endless um there are some foliages that are better out of water but most uh, most of them are pretty good like hardy type foliages and you can always test just snip a piece and then just sit it somewhere and, and see how it goes and that's a lot of what you do in floristry anyway if there's something unfamiliar that you've got um yeah you just test it you can take something like this maria and this is a very big piece, but you could cut it down and make it thin pieces. So make the garland, if we're talking in, in terms of a line, it's all just one stem and it keeps trailing on. Or you can make it thick like this big piece here. Or even if you have um, them all going in a straight line, you could bunch the pieces up. So if I were to say tie that, um, yeah, it, it would make a difference to how the overall shape. And I can keep adding to the garland to thicken it, or I can leave it as thin as that. So that's all up to your preference. Um, and the time you want to spend on it. So the thinner it is, the quicker it'll be. One of the cool things about um, floristry is that a lot of it is problem solving. Um, so you can find any location, any pole, any, anything, as long as it's going to hold your piece of string and that you can have the space to maneuver. So I've got my big long twine and I'm just going to tie it around this lockout screen winder thing. So it's just holding on to this. It is better to have your pieces cut. So actually I think I might 
cut some pieces. I've got my pieces cut. I do prefer them somewhat long, but not too long. It's about 20 centimeters long. They're not all accurately this, and I just use my eye to gauge. If it's too long, it's just gonna be harder to work with. I'm gonna make it somewhat chunky and see how I go with that. I'm gonna grab my first piece. I do like my ends to have nice, um, well, my, the ends just to look pretty. So I think that's gonna be a pretty um, end. And so what I'm going to do is, and you can either work singly or in clusters. And in clusters, I mean, you've got more than one stem so you could work like that and i've what i'm using this for is it's basically going to be the base of the garland and it's going to help keep the garland together so when i wrap my binding wire over it because now I've got my binding wire and I've got the two stems, sorry, I've got my twine, my anchor twine and my two stems. And this is why it's good to have your pieces cut beforehand. And I'm going to get my binding wire and I'm just going to wrap it around all three. So put this under my arm. And get my and there is no hard and fast rule as to how to secure this it's just going to hold on what I actually could have and should have done is made this first point, bind point at the very top. So I might end up cutting it off. You don't have to cut it off, but you can. And when you are securing things, you do want the, all your mechanics to be hidden. So you don't have to go to the top. I'm securing the back and it's okay if it moves around that's fine because you'll be able to fix that when you're trying to put it in situ and as you just keep going you're going to be working on top of your first piece or the piece before so I'm going to grab another piece of Maria. I'm going to stick it on top. You don't want a lot of stem, like this has quite a bit of stem. You can hide it, but you also don't want it because it makes it less bendy. You don't, the sticks, the more stick you have, the less bendy it's going to be. And then if, say, if you wanted your garland to be curvy, it'll, you know, create a point but it's also not a big deal if you so this new piece is now going on to on top of the first piece so all my next pieces are going to be consistently on top of one another and try to make it left right or right left so this is turning up pretty thick and i've only got three pieces on so my next piece i'll go right and then i'm going to do left right left right but if you've got a big cluster you might be able to get away with not doing that and you just look at your pieces and you just Whatever shape they're in, going in, or whichever direction they're going in, work with it. So 
I'm gonna do another cluster. I take these leaves off. I kind of leave them because it adds bulk. Um, you can afterwards you're just gonna ruffle through it and fix things up. So just get the job done, and then you can sort of worry about those other bits later. This is a forgiving um, piece. It'll still look good. You might just have to make some adjustments, but if you just wanna get something started, you can go from there, that works. So I'm going to continue all the way down and then go from there. So this is what it's looking like thus far. Um, I'm gonna be obviously zhuzhing it up a little bit um, once I'm done, but um, yeah, it's coming along fine. And like I said, it's such a forgiving piece. So the garland is finished. You can see it's twisted here, but I'll fix that when I show you what it looks like on my table. I ended up straying from the one piece at a time. When I put a cluster in, I made sure that it was hugging a left side and a right side, like even if it was just a little piece. Let's look at it in situ. So I've got it placed along my outdoor table and all you want to do now is I'll show you the lengthwise, so beautiful, but all you want to do is go along and um, twist it so that it's hiding like bits like that, that's just excess, I cut too much off so you can snip that otherwise just twist it so that it's hidden and then you can also cut this string or you can tie it if you're if it's windy or something like that and that's what you want to do is just check everything's good and that is it pretty much done Okay, and that's it. It is a little bit fiddly. It will take um, some time. If you want to make it um, thinner rather than as thick as I had it, you just use less materials and make sure that they can are spaced further apart um, because I did overlap my pieces a bit closer together. It really is one of those pieces that you can't get wrong. And if you're at least um, following the foundational bits you can always fix it at the end so you don't have to worry about making it perfect all the way through so I hope you enjoy this I hope you get something out of it and if you've got anything to share I'd love um, to hear it and if you've got any other video ideas that you'd like to see then I'd love to give it a go so enjoy